being the Johnny come lately that I always am, I was glad that I made my Undertaker video well prepared, discussing it thoroughly, and really just researching everything. But I'm I need to fulfill my promises, so I'm gonna make another one. And now's the perfect time because they're still talking about this thing. And first I gotta shout some people out. Van Robert Bryant, he needs a shout out right now. I promised him I'd give him a shout out for this video. And Luis Ultima. I don't know if I should use his real last name. I'm not going to do it. It's the Sasuke fan. So the cop and the Sasuke fan. This is kind of interesting. Eleven days into the future, and it seems that people still can't stop talking about Undertaker's streak finally being over. Initially, I did think the streak being over was a big deal, but different perspectives have finally risen from the IWC, and it seems that everything that needed to be said has finally been said. To top it all off, the dirt sheets are providing us with more resolving information to settle the speculation that is formed from the shock. Undertaker's undefeated streak is over. It's never coming back. He's not dead, though. He just lost a match in an exhibition sport. You want something to really be sad about? Jim Helwig, the ultimate warrior, died two days after the streak was over. Yes, people are grieving about that. I'm not. I was never really a big fan of him. He was before my time, and... I wasn't a fan of his matches, either. Or his politics. But that is something to be sad about. To be fair, not a lot of what people are saying now is grief-related, but the narrative game is being formed are getting kind of short-sighted. Interesting, yet still short-sighted, i.e. the Greek tragedy narrative where people saying, finally, the streak is over. That thing was annoying as hell. I never really liked that way. And these are all valid narratives, yet they're very short-sighted. They're popular or they're unpopular opinions that aren't really unpopular opinions and that is something that is common to see I'm about to give you a very unpopular opinion right now I'm about to hit you with something I'm about to shoot right now or no homo people said that they expected they wanted the streak to be over if it was going to be over Ric Flair Shawn Michaels style where Ric Flair, the streak, I mean, not the streak, Ric Flair was retired by Shawn Michaels in a blaze of glory in WrestleMania 24 in 2008. I'm about to hit you with some truth right now. I didn't even like that match. Nope. Wasn't a big fan of it. I like what it tried to tell as a story, but I didn't enjoy seeing that match. Anyway, and it definitely wasn't even my favorite match in a card. The money in the bank match, that was what was up. Regardless, this is Mr. Wonka 7. I think that we should be in stage 7 of grief, which is acceptance right now. This topic should be laid to rest. Maybe brought back towards the end of the year to summarize what 2014 was. But for now, I think we should give the topic a rest. And I should be the dark horse to drag your asses to the grave right now. And suck my dick.